Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc, and this is part three in a series that's looking at the VSDC Free Video Editor. And so, in previous parts, we have learned to splice videos and add text, and in here, we are going to process some of these images uh, to make them look better, and also look at some of the special effects that you can put in them. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, when I look at this clip that we added last time, I look at the colors, I look at the sharpness, and I don't like it. So I'm going to left click on that. It's going to give me a little tab right here. I'm going to go there. This is going to show me all the different layers of effects that I'm going to add to this clip. If I go up here to effects, I get a drop down menu, and these are different ways that I can change the image. I can auto correct the levels, the lighting levels, the contrast, I can manually go into the brightness, I can turn it into black and white if I wanted to. I could go into invert. Let's look at one of these. I'm going to click on whole parent duration. That means it's going to apply these changes to the whole video clip. And there we go. I am the butterfly Dracula. Okay, not really. I don't want that. So I'm going to click up here. That is undo. Now what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go up again to adjustments. And I'm just going to go to auto levels and see what that is. That's kind of the program kind of looking at this and making some choices. Uh, if I go to back there, I can see the difference. That looks pretty good. If I didn't like that, I could always undo it. You can always undo an effect by going down here and clicking on delete. But I kind of like that, so I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to go now, I think, to filters. You can blur the image, sharpen it, emboss it, denoise it. I'm going to sharpen it. It needs a little bit of sharpening. That's too much. So I'm going to go here. It's kind of like cheese. Sometimes cheese can get too sharp, and this image is too sharp. I'm going to go to about 5% on the sharpness by adjusting it there, and that looks a lot better. Now let's say I wanted this image to fade in and out. So between the previous image and the next image, rather than it just cutting, I want it to fade. So I'm going to go to Video Effects and Transparency. I'm going to go Fade In. From the beginning of the scene, it's going to take two seconds for the image to fade in. I'm going to do it like that. If I click on Preview, that's the image before it. And now you can see it is clicking and fading in. I can go also and fade in the end as well, fade out from the scene end, two seconds, and it would do the same thing. And then it's going to fade out here, there. Slowly fade out. Now you'll notice in the preview it is a little bit jumpy and, and it's slowed down. I don't know if that's my processor or not, but it will not appear that in the final video. All right. Let's look at some other effects that you can do with this video. Let's get back on the butterfly there. It looks better. I'm going to go into Transforms. I can do weird things with the perspective of this image. Look at that. This is giving me a perspective angle. I can go in here and change it. I can make it rotate and go back. I can also adjust here. I can actually uh, change this perspective uh, by, I believe, yeah, here. 
Here's kind of interesting. I can change the perspective. I can have it start at one angle and the end of the video, I can have it at another perspective angle. So this angle is changing constantly throughout the video. So hey, that's kind of cool. Um, there are just other effects here. You can, you can look at them. You apply them in the same way. If I wanted water, bubbling water, or plasma, or fire around this butterfly, I could do that. I could make it look like a broken television set that we were watching. Uh, transitions. I can do effects between scenes using these scenes. So you can just play around with that. But that kind of gives you an idea a little bit about video effects there with what we have worked on so far. Next time we're going to be looking at, video, at audio. So I'm going to add some audio files, talk about where I get my audio files from, and some different ways that you can apply it, as well as talk a little bit about public domain and copyright with that, which has become a really big issue with audio files and music on YouTube. So I'm going to talk about that in the next video. So hope you'll join us for that. If you like videos like this, please subscribe below and feel free to comment if there's anything specifically you would like to see. Uh, we're just going to continue in this series looking at the basic uh, elements and features of this editor. And we will eventually end up actually learning how to convert this once we're all done doing that. So stick around and hope to see you next time. Bye.